So it is towards the end of the fourth quarter. We are up by one point. And you see Houston Texans are moving the ball down the field first and 10 at their at the opponent's 12 yard line. And you see Grimes just running in for a touchdown. This has been the story of the whole Jaguar season. They cannot contain leads. They suck when the game goes down the stretch and we lose 21 to 14. And you have to keep in mind the future of Gus Bradley. Will he be the coach for next season as we went 1 in 15, man? 1 in freaking 15. Only one win last season? We had one of the worst records last season. We were the worst team in the FC South. But this is a new season, a new year. And let me tell you something. We have a new coach. I'm not going to tell you who the coach is. Yes, we got rid of Gus Bradley, but we have a new coach. Look at this. We got Matt Flynn as our starting quarterback. Blake Bortles is now the second string quarterback. So we have a little improvement in the quarterback position. We have an improvement in the running back position. Shane Vereen is starting over uh, Toby Gerhardt. We got Justin Blackman, and we added Jermaine Kirst. Jermaine Kirst is a, is a deep threat. We also got Scott Chandler. I, I pretty much, I want to say an improvement at the tight end position, but can't really say anything about that. We got David Lamb, Chris Smith. We got Marks, one of the best defensive tackles in the game. We got Brooks Reed, Paul Pazlowski, whatever, however you say his name. We also got Keith Rivers, had him on my ultimate team, guy was a freaking stud. Chris Culliver, great. McCray at the cornerback position. We got the hard hitting, ball hawking Kendrick Lewis at the free safety position. And then you got the one and only. Ace Cannon at the strong safety position. What more can I say, man? Like we are, we are killing it right here. We are killing it, and this is this is a new season. So you know, being that our first game is at home against the FC South Division rival, you know we just got to ball out. There is nothing else we can do except for ball out. And you see, fourth and thirteen, the Houston Texans are punting Ace Cannon the ball. So you know I gotta do something nice. You know I gotta do something special, right? Oh, oh. What the? Bro. Bro, this dude. Usually it's Ace Cannon delivering the hit, but. Look at him just lay on his back like that, dude. You just got knocked the. F so moving right along, Ace Ken is embarrassed, man. Like that's that's embarrassed to get hit like that and fumble the ball like that. That. Wow, I can't. I don't even know what to say. But you see that two straight back back to back tackles for Ace Cannon. But all of a sudden the coach takes him out the game. And once Ace Cannon is out the game, that's when the Texans want to score. So our offense does nothing. The Houston Texans get the ball right back. And they're trying to score again. So what we got to do? We just got to stop from stop them from getting into the end zone. But on the second and three, we're not doing that as they get another first down. And they are they're moving they're moving the change right now. There's nothing we can do about it. Third and seven, dropping back, finding a man on the slant. I don't know who man was that. I don't know if we were running man or if we were running zone. But God, Slee was wide open, naked. First and ten. You see us though. Getting that, that's Keith Rivers, man. Probably one of the best linebackers we got on the team. So we're able to stop him on 4th and 12. They got a chip shot on the field goal. They lead 10-0. to The offense gets the ball and we score. So now the score is 10-7. But look at, look at, look at, uh, I don't know who his name is, but the Texans quarterback doing that block shit. Gosh, Lee. Third and one, getting that ball out, firing for that first down, man. So they're moving the ball. They're trying to score before halftime comes. And you can see it. You can see it in their eyes. They really want to score before halftime. They're trying to they're trying to go into half with a huge lead. But but Jaguars defense, we gotta stop him. We gotta stop him. Second and 13. He cannot get away from the pressure. He's being brought down. For the big sack. So we had we, we brought him to the field goal, fourth and nine. And you see the kicker just shanks it way to the left. So we have a chance, but look at this. What, what what the fuck is that, dude? Like, was that a trick play? Was that supposed to be a fucking trick play? I didn't know what the hell was going on. But it's okay because Shane Vereen just ran it. 
80 yards for a touchdown, which gives us the lead 14 to 10. And on the third and nine, the Texans quarterback cannot get away. That's Lamb. <laughs> the, <laughs> Lamb the man. That's my nickname for him, Lamb the man. You're going to be seeing a lot of him this season. Fourth and 15, please don't fumble. Please don't fumble. Whew. Thank goodness he ain't fumbled. Our, our offense got the ball. They didn't do nothing with it, so we had to punt it back. Texans got the ball back. Look at him. Don't know what to do. Ever since the second, ever since the end of the second quarter, they haven't really been moving the ball much. Don't fumble again. Don't. F I dare. Do not fumble again. That's what I thought. So we got a ball. We were able to kick a field goal. Now it's a seven-point lead. And their quarterback gets injured. Is that Lamb again? Is that Lamb? Lamb back again? Getting that sack. Second sack of the game. And on third and 24, who, who the fuck are you throwing to, dude? Who are you throwing to? You see that was a backup quarterback throwing that pass. Really don't know who the heck he was throwing to. And on the fourth and 24, they decide to punt. I am so bad when it comes to returning punt. It, it doesn't help that my guy's only uh, 90 speed, so... And he doesn't have that great juke move because he's 6'3", 224 pounds, so he's not going to be the most elusive nor shiftiest. As we get another sack, that's Branch in the backfield. Second and 14, you see that? Completing the pass to make it a third and four. Dropping back, finding his man, and they're, they're, they're about to score. Third and 10. Oh, he's running it right now. He's running it. He just tucked in and running. Second and 11, finding his man over the middle, almost for a first down. So on third and one, dropping back, finding the running back. Wow, wow, they are moving the ball. First and goal, not too far. And wow, he just he just invaded us. I really thought he was trying to run it in, but he tossed it last minute. So it's only a seven point game. 30 seconds left, throwing to my side of the field. And that is Ace Cannon's territory. You don't just throw it up to Ace Cannon like that. You don't throw it up to Ace Cannon like that. He's going to come down with the catch. A huge mistake for the Texans quarterback. Ace Cannon, 6'3", 224 pounds. To, he, just, he just went up there and snatched it. Went up there and snatched it. Literally just snatched it out the air. Amazing, amazing play by Ace Cannon. And look at that. Uh, is that Marvin Lewis right there? Is Marvin Lewis our new head coach? Wow, so you see the score, 17-24, and 24. we won our first game of the season. If you enjoyed the video, give the video a like. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'm your boy, NSG Commentary, and I'm out of here. Peace.